90.3 KEXP. You're listening to Audio Oasis. You just heard Destroyer. And now you're going to hear a live in studio by Dude York. Audio Oasis, KEXP, Seattle. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> this first one is called Dream King. <laughs> But that I feel fine And I won't 
listening to Dude York live on Audio Oasis. You just heard The Lake and Dream King. Hi, you guys. Hi, Charlize. Hi. Hey. Hi. Thanks for coming to Audio Oasis. Thanks so much for having us. It's a pleasure. You guys sound really great. Thank you. So, let's see. Peter and Andrew, did you guys meet in college? We did. Yeah, we did. We met down at Whitman College in Walla Walla. Were you guys playing music down there together? Um, I mean, he was in a band called, he was in another band, and I was uh, making noise in a room by myself sometimes. That's pretty lonely. It was. I'm glad you met Peter. Me too. Yeah, and then, and then we started playing, and then it was this sort of chaotic, much more chaotic thing that we were sort of doing. It was really more of a joke. It was more of a distraction from studying for finals. Oh. And then suddenly we passed? <laughs> yeah, but... That's good. It took a try. <laughs> did you graduate with it? I did okay. Yeah, I graduated. Oh, good. Good. I, I caught it in time. Well, well, now you can be in a band and, and feel good That's about it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you guys meet Claire? Well, and oh, decide indeed. that she was worthy of Dude York. It was more Claire was in a position to join join up with us, and we were we are just so lucky to, to have Claire, I think. Claire's pretty cool. Claire Aww. is cooler than cool. Yeah. Ice cold. Uh, yeah, I agree. Claire is from Bright Futures, and uh, I don't think I'll ever get over the breakup of that band. <laughs> I'll never get over it, just so you know. Thank you. You're welcome. But we're, gonna, we're talking about New <laughs> York. So you guys have just released a record, Escape from Dude York. It's really excellent. Oh, thank you. And fun so to listen much. to. But I feel like the progression of your guys' music has gone from, like, super, super lo-fi to... A little bit of production. How did you guys decide? Why did you guys decide to do that? We've been, we've been shooting for higher fi than we've reached the whole time. Yeah, so we, just, <laughs> we just we just we only had two working preamps to make our first three records. Yeah, our first three records we recorded on two different computers at the same time. Yeah, and one of them only recorded sometimes, and one of them had thirty five decibels of gain hardwired into one of the preamps. This is technical language. Aside. Wow, yeah, that was so <laughs> over my head. Basically, if it you wanted to record, say, a kick and a snare at the same I time, I mean, yeah. if you want to record, do it in a different way than we did it. Yeah, <laughs> don't do what we. The I mean, line. unless you want your records to sound like they were made by a crazy person, which was also part of it. I yeah, mean, I love the way those records sound, but it's. I love the way like, they sound too, and that's why I'm asking about it. Yeah. And it's I partially that I'm deaf in my left ear and have a really hard time mixing. And so it's like after hours and hours of listening to the song over and over again, I'm like, yeah, that's what it should sound like. And then I hear it through different speakers and I'm like, this is different. It's different. Yeah. But it's still really fun to listen to. You guys have really fun lyrics. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You guys make me laugh. I, Thank you. Thank I you enjoy so you guys. That's my whole point. The whole point. I enjoy Dude York. But we're a meaningful core band. <laughs> All the I think that's about part of the joke. It's that we're a meaningful core. Like, is that a new genre? It's like Coldplay or like oh. Bon Iver. That's these are like you know these like these meaningful bands that people have like moments in their lives that they think about in relationship to those bands, which is, you know, a very valid and, like, important thing for a band to mean to somebody. But it's also just music. It's also just, like, it's smiling. It's having a good time. Are it's you guys more going through can... some age things? Are you going through some age? You mean, like, crises? Yeah, age crisis. <sighs> I think you just hit the oh, nail on yeah, the head. that's what's going on. <laughs> I feel like 24-7 crisis. <laughs> right. <laughs> Either way, it's really good. It's great to have you guys here. Thank you. Do you guys have a couple more songs? We sure do. Yeah. Awesome. Dude this York, live on Audio Oasis, KEXP. This next one, nobody's heard. It's called Burn Us Down. I've never even heard it before. We'll see about that. <laughs>
next song is called Iris. It's a counterpart to our previously released song, David. very meaningful.
just heard three meaningful core <laughs> songs by Dude York. Jorts core. Jorts core. Jo- That's the new one. You I just can't, came up with You that. can't make up new cores like that. I also new can't genres. take credit for taking We didn't make it up. Make we got up. It, we got tagged it on Last.fm, so it's oh. safe. It's the oh, it's company. real. Yeah. There okay, are four other, I think it's one guy in Tacoma know. who tagged five bands as Jorts Core. Wait, George Core? Jorts Core. Jorts. Like Jean Shorts? G- oh, wait, Jorts. Jean Shorts. Jorts. Right? Yeah. Oh. There it is. Jorts Core. Three George Core songs by Dude York <laughs> on Audio Aces. You're Ghoul, Iris, and Burn Us Down. Thank you guys for coming here. This was awesome. You're Thank welcome. You. This Thank was you. a dream come true. Awesome. You're listening to Dude York live on Audio Oasis, KEXP, Seattle.